Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is... Will Ayane smile if she is in slender mode while making the Octo Dogs? Okay, this is what we have to do. We have to go to class first and then join the cooking club and then turn into slender mode. Because once you turn into slender mode, you can't join any clubs. You're basically insane to the max. What? And is what the this? hell? You're cheating? That is absolutely unacceptable. What? Wait, no! I don't know how that got there! You're in big trouble, young lady. Come with me. I'm taking you to the guidance counselor. What in the fucking fuck? Okay, I got caught cheating. Cheat on this, you damn hoe. Okay, I'm gonna increase my study points. I guess if I use the debug menu, <laughs> I get caught cheating. That's actually pretty damn clever. I like that. But anyway... We are gonna join the cooking club, and then we are gonna turn to Slender and see if she smiles. So let's join the club. Greetings. Join club? Yes, ma'am. You have joined the club. All right, so let's go here and Slender That's mode. That's a huge bitch. There we go, and we still got our little thing on. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! Bald headed hoe. Where was she? Bald headed hoe is. Damn it! Where is it? I saw it earlier. You know what? I saw my bald head, and that's all that matters. So let's go make our octodogs. Oh, damn. Are you going to pull those out the freezer? Jesus. <laughs> Hella tall. All right. Hopefully, I can see her face when she makes the octodogs. Let me see if she starts smiling. Come on. Oh, she did. She smiled. Yes. I saw her smile, guys. Slender Yandere Chan smiled. So that is true. <laughs> When she makes the Octodogs in Slender Mode, she will smile. Even though right here, it shows that she has no mouth. On to the next one. I found a glitch or bug on the new build. One, get the gym teacher to chase you. Two, hide near the table thing. You'll see what happens. Oh, God. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Okay, here's what we are going to do. Grab the screwdriver because you know somebody's going to screw up and get this right in their neck. And then we are going to get that gym teacher to see us. And hopefully, whatever happens is awesome as hell. So, you know what? We are going to get Kudere just because, man. I don't know why. I don't have a reason for everything I do. So, oh, bam! Okay, she saw me. So, let's go teleport. Right and then the table should be on the third floor on this side. So, I don't know, man. We're dealing with another RoboCop teacher. But I'm going to hide right here. And then they said we'll see what happens. Okay, we are waiting by the table. I don't see any PE teacher. Ah! Everybody notices that there's a body. And where the hell is the teacher at? Is she coming? No? What the hell? Is she like the teacher? Does she chase you too? Like, I haven't played enough of this build yet to know if the teacher chases you. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to keep turning around back and forth. Making sure RoboCop Sensei doesn't try to get me. Okay, there she is. So let's hide. Come on. And okay, her JJ is right next to my right ear. It's kind of like her flaps are talking to me. What are they saying, Ayane-chan? I haven't been washed in six days. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. I want to see if this works with teachers, and I want to see if this works with delinquents. So let's try that. Oh, and I just noticed this patch of bush right here. This random patch. Let me hide in here. Cool. I am one with the patch. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. It's 715, so she is debugged to go to the courtyard. No, you are going to follow me because I need to kill you in front of the delinquent. I wonder if you can hide from someone in here, though. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, let's get back to the task at hand. We have to kill this girl in front of the delinquents, and that is what we are going to huh? do. So, shot, bam! And they didn't see that? No? Okay, you're going to see this, though. You see this? Going you see this, oh shit! Oh, damn! She went at me super I quick! Knew you didn't have You gotta be guts. kidding me! Alright, let's go huh. behind the table! What? How did she get up there so fast? Jeez! Okay, let me try that again before these people give me a heart attack. Okay, let's try this one more time. I think leading them far away from the school was a great idea. Uh, so there you go. Let's next. keep going. Oh, Come on, up. girl. Run faster. Maybe you need to do more PE classes. Fuck you. Teleport. Yes. All right. 
Go, 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 go. You know he goes through walls. You know he does. You gotta be fast. You gotta be slick. You gotta be awesome. You got to go for greatness. Yes, we did it. Can the delinquents get us? Yes or no? Whoa. They kind of can, I guess. I don't know. I'm spazzing out underneath the table. I'm like twitching back and forth. Or maybe I'm dancing to some cool song that I'm playing inside of my head. Either way, I did get smacked up with that big ass stick. Let me see if I can get out of here. Stop hiding. And there we go. Glitched again. My favorite Yandere Simulator glitch. That's actually really cool. But you can't hide from a delinquent. And let's see if we can hide from a teacher. So for this one, we're just going to teleport to the roof. Grab the naifu. And then end this bitch's life. Oh! And grab her hand, her majestic hand. Because it's show and tell time. done? You know what I've done. I've done some bad things in my life, Stop girl. Right so come now. and get me if you can. Oh, God. The sensei is about to get me. Shit. I accidentally missed it. Okay, we're going to go there. I'm going to wait for her to come up here. And then I'm going to teleport again. Wait, how am I going to do this? Okay, she's going there. And I'm going to run to the end. Okay, turn the camera back. Ah, shit. Come on, girl. Run faster. Damn it, she's faster than you! How could you be the slowest girl in your school? This is some fuck! <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna wait for her to come up here again. And what am I gonna do, Jay? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Uh, you're gonna go over here. Yeah, I got it. I have the perfect plan. Okay, go here. Oh, shit. She's coming. She's coming. And not in a good way. Oh, boy. Infochon, help me! Oh, God. Come on, make it to the table. You got this, Jay. Everybody's waiting for you to make it. Fuck, you're not gonna make it. A fucking bitch with chopstick in her hair is gonna get you. Okay, I think I'm gonna make it this time. All right, everybody root for me. Everybody root for me. No. Come on, motherfucker. Hide behind there. I believe in you, Tide. Yes. Okay, we did it. Yeah. Okay, so a PE teacher, a regular teacher can't get you. A delinquent can get you, but it'll glitch out and you won't get a game over. So that was a cool little glitch to try out. On to the next one. Here's one, Jay. One, spawn a mind slave. Two, have her kill Kakona. Three, have a teacher's pet tell a teacher about the murder. Four, before the teacher reaches the scene of the crime, drag around Kakona's dead body and then let the teacher see. Five, Will the teacher think you killed Kakona? I actually love that one so much. To see if a mind slave can frame you for murder, that is clever as hell. Okay, so we spawn Saki, and then I'm gonna give her... Actually, wait. I'm gonna wait for Kakona to go to the courtyard, because when that happens, then a teacher's pet will have to see. Or I might have a teacher's pet distract one of the girls so they can witness the murder, and then we're gonna go from there. So it is now 722. Let's give Saki this thing, and then I am gonna get one of these teacher's pets to follow me, please. And which one is it gonna be? It's gonna be you for no reason whatsoever. Hey, follow me. I want to show you something cool. Okay. Lead the way. All right. There's Saki. Saki, it's to me, baby. And there is Kokoni. Oh, shit. She better make it here before the phone call. I think she will, though. Let's fast forward time just a little bit. And showtime, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. You saw that? Yeah, you teacher's pet fuck. Look at that teacher's pet face. Yeah, go tell the teacher. Okay, so now we have to drag Kakona's body. Ah, Damn it. Mother Get fuck. Away from me. So if Senpai thinks we killed them just because we picked up Kakona's dead body, then I'm pretty sure a sensei will think the same thing. No, but you know what? Never love me. Let me try that again because I want to confirm it. Okay, there's actually a teacher's pet right here, so he's going to notice the whole thing. So I don't even need to go to the courtyard. There you go. And even Senpai's a scared little fuck boy. Okay, go tell the teacher, teacher's pet. And Senpai ran away from school already, so let's pick her up. And everybody notices me. This guy's eyes are hella wide. What the hell? Hey, teacher's pet, you gonna tell the teacher or what? Where's the teacher? Oh, there she is. Hey, Sensei. How you doing? I got a body in my hand. How you doing today? Hey, teacher. Teacher. Look. Teacher. I got a body in my hand. There you go. Okay, she thinks it's me! 
Damn it! Go! Okay, so that is confirmed. If a mind slave kills Kokona and then a teacher's pet goes to tell a teacher, but you grab Kokona's hand right before the teacher comes to the crime scene, then she will think that you're the one that did it. But I have a twist that I'm gonna spin on this myth. And that is, what if you have the mind slave kill Kokona, but before you grab her hand, put on the gloves, and then the teacher's gonna think it's you, right? But, you burn the gloves, the mind slave is the one who has the fingerprints on the weapon, so maybe you can get away with murder if you just drop the body and then go home. Let's see if that works. Okay, so if you guys were confused about what I was just talking about, don't worry, I confuse myself sometimes. I'm gonna give the weapon to Saki, she is gonna kill Kokona, she's gonna have her fingerprints on that screwdriver, but I'm going to pick up Kokona's lifeless body and have the teacher think it's me, but I'm not the one who killed Kokona. I just grabbed her hand for no reason. And I don't have any fingerprints on Kokona. So what if the police don't arrest me? Like, I didn't kill her, so they're not going to arrest me, right? Let's see if that is true. And the teacher's pet is going to tell the teacher right now, right, you fuck boy? Yes, you are. Come on. Whisper it in her ear. Say, oh my god, somebody hey, killed somebody. There you go. Okay. Now let's pick up her body. Okay, there's the teacher right now. We have the gloves on. Kokona is in our arms and come on. Hey! Notice me, Sensei! There you go. Okay, this is what we're gonna do, guys. Teleport to the roof. Fast forward time. And then let's go home. Oh shit, what the hell? Okay, fast forward time. Go home, see what happens. The police arrive at school and discover what appears to be the scene of a murder suicide. The police discover the corpses of Kokona Haruka and Saki Miyu. The police discover a screwdriver that is stained with the blood of Saki Miyu and Kokona Haruka. The police find the fingerprints of Saki Miyu on the weapon. Yes! Saki Miyu is dead. The police cannot perform an arrest. The police question on Dairy Chime, but cannot link her to any crimes. The police conclude that a murder-suicide took place, but are unable to take any further action. The police investigation ends, and students are free to leave. Okay, so that settles it. If a mind slave kills Kokona, and then you pick up her body, but you have the gloves on, even though the teacher witnesses you doing something like that, the police cannot arrest you anyway. They think it's a murder-suicide. So hopefully that answers any questions you guys might have about that. On to the next one. Can you kill a PE teacher with Easter eggs? I've never done that before. This is my first time ever seeing a PE teacher in Yandere Simulator. But we are gonna do my very favorite Easter egg of all time, which is Falcon Mode, baby. And we're gonna punch her right in her salty PE teacher vag. Yandere. Let's do this shit! <laughs> ah! Bitch! Fatality. <laughs> so that was easy. We knocked her ass out the park. But my reputation is going down like crazy. What the hell? But whatever, you know what? That was pretty cool. I want to try to kill the PE teacher in other Easter eggs. Let's try one punch mode! Boom! Bad time mode. Also in cinematic mode. Watch and learn, ladies and gentlemen. Bam! And lastly, my favorite of all the Easter eggs, summoning the demon jazz hands. And she has a schoolgirl uniform on, and her blood is a little bit turquoise bluish? The hell? Is she an alien from another world? But hopefully that does answer your question. Yes, the PE teacher can be killed using Easter eggs. On to the next one. Jay, get a mind slave and put the camera in her face. She will still pose like the social butterfly she is. Is that right? Okay, we are gonna spawn the mind slave like so and see if she poses like the social butterfly that she is. She better too. She better be a mind slave and have the most awesome peace signs of all time. So let's crouch down and get her eagle on, pull out our camera and boom, <laughs> nothing. You kidding me? You said it so matter of fact too, like she will still pose because she is a social butterfly. <laughs> that is some bullshit though. Okay, that is debunked. That actually made me a little bit sad because her spaghetti haired ass didn't pose for me. So that is debunked. A mind slave will not pose for the camera. On to the next one. Now if you kidnap a rival like Oka and reduce her sanity to zero, she will now only kill herself. If a leader can kill themselves, that is going to be something I've never seen before. And if this is actually true, then I will love that forever. So what am I trying to do? Oh, I was trying to get Oka, but she's not here. So let's spawn her inside the club. And let's get her to follow us. Oh, shit. She can't follow us if she's in there. So we're going to have to get her to follow us at a different time. 
So let's talk to Awesome Oka right here by the lockers. Can you follow me, please? Okay, lead the way, baby. Oh, yeah. And you guys should already know that once you close this door, it's time to track this hoe! Yeah! Nighty night, Oka. Time for you to be my self killing mind slave. <laughs> so let's put her inside this box. And let's fast forward to the end of the school day, baby. Okay, now all we have to do is rinse and repeat ourselves going to the basement and reducing Oka's sanity to zero. Stop! No! Okay, Oka's sanity is now at zero. Let's bring her to school. I seriously hope this does work, because if it doesn't, I'm going to be extremely sad. So let's give her... Hmm, we can only give her a small weapon. Let's just be simple here and give her this Naifu and her Laifu real quick. So let's give that to her. And she's still standing there. I think she is walking in Kakona's direction. Damn it! A mind slave will not kill themselves just because they're a leader of a club. They are going to be your run-of-the-mill generic mind slaves that kill Kakona and then themselves on to the next myth. Okay, here's something I found out you can do. One. Set the date to Friday. Two, go to the faculty room. Three, grab the answer sheet off the table near the doors in the faculty room. Four, go to the door on the right of the info club and give it to Infochan. Five, put duplicated answer sheet back in the faculty room. Six, go to class. Seven, put answer sheet on Kakona, leader of the big titty committee's desk. Eight, go back to class and hear the magic. Hopefully I got the steps right. Holy shit, dude, that's some crazy ass steps. I have never even seen any of that before. This is my first time playing this build. So let me get this straight. You can now grab an answer sheet and ask Infochan to duplicate it for you or something like that. That is freaking awesome. Okay, so we are gonna head to the faculty room and I kind of forgot where the faculty room, okay, this is the faculty room. And we need to grab the answers right over here. Answer sheet. Okay, we got our answer sheet, and I think it says we need to go to Infochan's room. Okay, we are at Info Club, and we can duplicate the answer sheet, so let's free. do that. Don't get used to it. All right, can we see if she's doing anything here? No, she's still over there? All right, so we pick up the sheets, and now we have to put the duplicated sheets back in the faculty room. Okay, sorry if I'm, like, speaking slow. I'm still trying to get the hang of this. This is my first time doing it, so we need to go back inside of the faculty room and put these back here so now we need to go to class and i'm just going to do this and then we have to put the answers on kakona's desk i think she is in the classroom right across from me right here is that not right no that is not right what the okay maybe she's on the third floor i know she's in one of the classrooms that are around here yes where is her desk? Motherfucking senpai. Her? I'm not trying to go to you right now, all right, bro? We need to put the answers on her desk. Which one is her desk? I have no clue. Oh, there you go. Okay, place that. And then we have to just see and wait for the magic to happen according to this myth. Actually, it says we need to go back to class. So let's go back to class and let's hear the magic happen, baby. What is this? You're cheating? That is absolutely unacceptable. What? Wait, no! I don't know how that got there! You're in big trouble, young lady. Come with me. I'm taking you to the Guidance Counselor. Can we actually see Kakona going to the Guidance Counselor? Or is that not in the game yet? Hold on. Is Kakona still around here? Senpai! She's no. acting strange. Not acting strange. I'm walking up the damn stairs. How is that strange? Okay, Kakona's not here. Is she in here? Nope, she's not here. Uh, hold on. Let's see if we can find her. Okay, I looked around the whole map, and she is nowhere to be found. I looked in, like, the counselor's office. I looked in this room. I looked in the cooking club. I looked everywhere. She's not here. So I guess once she got in trouble from cheating, and once you put the answers on her desk, she completely disappears from the game. That is actually really cool. On to the last myth of today's episode. I have a myth. Cub Scouts was featured in the two-year anniversary of Yandere Simulator's video. Watch it and see what happens. I actually did see that video, and it is an honor to be in Yandere Dev's two-year anniversary video. He did feature the Yandere Simulator Myths video, and a lot of people ask me, when the full version of the game comes out, are you going to play it normally? Hell yes, I am! I'm excited to play this game 
on the channel, do a normal playthrough of the game. But as for now, as it's still in development, I'm going to continue to do regular Yandere Simulator episodes where I'm just playing the game myself. And I'm also going to continue the Yandere Simulator Myth series. So I just wanted to congratulate Yandere Dev on his two-year anniversary of his game, Yandere Simulator. And I wanted to thank you guys so much for tuning in each and every episode. But that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. So if you guys have any more comments, myths, or challenges you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!